Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. Evening Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AI-generated News Digest Daily Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, headlines of the day. Top Chinese doctor studies climate change for pandemics prep. Trump's social media company reports significant losses, modest revenue, severe risk, and flood watch on Tuesday. Acetaminophen shows promise in sepsis treatment. Takeaways from tense day 19 of hush money trial, glioblastoma drug resistance pathway identified in neuroscience research, and much more. But first, this day in history. May 21st in history. May 21st, 878. Syracuse, Sicily is captured by the Muslim Aglabids after a nine-month siege. May 21st, 1864, American Civil War, the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse ends. Famous people born on this day. Diego Loizaga. Here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Diego Loizaga, born May 21st, 1995, is a Filipino model, actor, and video jockey. He started his career in showbiz in 2011 and has appeared in various TV shows and films since then. Jeffrey Dahmer. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Jeffrey Dahmer, born on May 21, 1960, was an American serial killer who murdered and dismembered 17 males between 1978 and 1991. He was diagnosed with mental disorders and was killed in prison in 1994 by another inmate. And now on to today's news. General news. Trump's social media company posts first quarter. Revenue of $770,500 and net loss of $327.6 million. Variety. Trump Media and Technology Group reported $770,500 in revenue for Q1 2024 with a net loss of $327.6 million. Trump owns 64.9% of TMTG shares worth about $5.5 billion. The company focuses on long-term product development, launching a live TV streaming platform for Truth Social. Severe risk and flood watch Tuesday, NPR News. Severe weather, including multiple waves of storms and a flood watch, is forecasted for Minnesota on Tuesday. There are risks of damaging wind, hail, tornadoes, and flash flooding, especially in southern and eastern areas. The NOAA models predict storm development and heavy rainfall. Takeaways from a tense day 19 of the Trump hush money trial, CNN. The article discusses the conclusion of the prosecution's case against Donald Trump in his hush money trial. It highlights key witness testimonies, including Michael Cohen's, and a contentious moment with a defense witness upsetting the judge. The defense is expected to rest soon, with closing arguments set for next Tuesday. Business news. Bitcoin price hit $70,000 as crypto liquidations top $235 million. Decrypt. Bitcoin surpasses $70,000, hitting a one-month high. The surge in price leads to increased crypto liquidations, with short positions being affected. This rise is attributed to investors flocking to newly approved Bitcoin exchange-traded funds and potential effects from Ethereum's recent price spike. Science News. Glioblastoma drug resistance pathway identified. Neuroscience News. Researchers at Virginia Tech discovered that blocking the PI3K beta signaling pathway in glioblastoma cells can increase sensitivity to the chemotherapy drug temozolomide, offering a potential new approach to overcoming drug resistance in brain cancer treatment. This finding has the potential to improve patient outcomes. Sierra Space delivered Dream Chaser to Florida for launch preparation, NASA. Dream Chaser Tenacity, an uncrewed cargo space plane by Sierra Space, 
arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center for its first flight to the International Space Station. The space plane will launch atop a ULA Vulcan rocket, delivering cargo and performing multiple missions as part of NASA's commercial resupply efforts. Today's obituaries. Sajjad Akbar. Brief Wikipedia summary. Sajjad Akbar, a Pakistani cricketer who played for the national team, passed away at the age of 63 due to a heart attack. Vladimir Agapov, a former Soviet football player and coach, passed away at the age of 90. He played for Spartak Moscow and the Soviet Union national team, as well as managing CSKA Moscow. Agapov's international career included playing one game for the USSR in 1958. Jan A.P. Kaczmarek, brief Wikipedia summary. Jan A.P. Kaczmarek, a Polish film composer known for works like Finding Neverland and Hachi, A Dog's Tale, passed away at 71 due to multiple system atrophy. He won an Oscar in 2005 for his musical contributions to film. Kaczmarek was also recognised for his significant achievements in promoting Polish culture. James Self Brief Wikipedia summary. James Self, a prominent South African politician, passed away at the age of 68. He served as a Member of Parliament for the Democratic Alliance and held various leadership positions within the party, contributing significantly to South African politics. Otto Carbinar, 92, Czech architect, interiors of Jested Tower. Health news. Why China's top doctor is studying climate change to prepare for next pandemic. South China Morning Post. Zhang Wen Hong, director of China's National Medical Center for Infectious Diseases, is leading efforts to prepare for the next pandemic by studying the impact of climate change on the spread of infectious diseases. He emphasizes the need for global collaboration and data-driven strategies for pandemic preparedness. Acetaminophen shows promise in warding off acute respiratory distress syndrome, organ injury in patients with sepsis. National Institutes of Health, NIH.gov. Intravenous acetaminophen shows potential in reducing organ injury and acute respiratory distress syndrome in sepsis patients, particularly in those at higher risk. While not impacting overall mortality, the drug benefited critically ill patients, prompting the need for further research and larger clinical trials. Entertainment news. Nina Dobrev hospitalized after bicycle accident. E! News. Actress Nina Dobrev was hospitalized after a motorbike accident, sharing updates on social media with photos of her in a neck brace and knee brace. Friends and fans sent well wishes for her recovery, including fellow Vampire Diary stars Claire Holt and Julianne Hu. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. What did the dog say to the two trees, bark, bark? What's blue and not very heavy? Light blue. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Tele report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.